Hello YouTube. So today will be somewhat of a return to my usual content since honestly not a whole lot has actually happened regarding the coronavirus in Denmark since last uh, since yesterday. Um, I can just give you the uh, numbers. We currently have 62 people uh, hospitalized with corona. We have 10 of those in intensive care. Um, as far as I know, we are up to 914 infected people and we have 4 deaths. That's all that's really uh, has happened uh, yesterday, since yesterday. Um, although the emergency powers granted to the health uh, authorities uh, goes into effect today, so we will likely see some sort of announcement regarding uh, stricter rules regarding the lockdown and so on uh, during the day. Uh, but instead, let's talk about something a little more, um, yeah, like I said, related to what I usually do on my channel. I know a lot of new people has come to my channel uh, searching for Corona news, but uh, my Long-time subscribers are usually here for either retro computers, 3D printing, various electronic projects, and so on. So uh, let's have a look at this article instead. It's still related to the coronavirus. Um, um, but uh, it's also qu quite related to what I usually do. So. Um, we all know that the situation in Italy is not great at the moment and what has happened is uh, some Italian hospitals are starting to run out of valves for, well they say reanimation device, they mean a ventilator, respirator, whatever you want to call it, that's uh, necessary to keep people alive uh, in these situations. Um, these two guys Christian Fracassi um, and Isinova, apparently. Uh, oh, no, okay, he's on the left. So this guy, apparently, showed up at the hospital with a 3D printer, and in about six hours, they were able to reverse engineer these valves that's used for uh, these uh, ventilators or respirators. Um, and print, uh, 3D print a prototype. Um, and the prototype looks like this. So on the left, I think we have the original part, and on the right, we have the reverse engineered uh, 3D printed replica. Um, from the outside, it looks fairly simple. Um, I mean, if you get all the critical dimensions where it connects to tubes uh, correct then the rest of the shape doesn't necessarily matter a whole lot at least on the outside but uh, i suspect there's some rather advanced internal geometry going on to make it function as a valve so uh yeah impressive stuff and the thing about these valve is that they are supposed to be single-use disposable units that's why the hospital starts running out of them um, because they use they, they suddenly need a whole lot more than they usually do um, and as you can see even the original is made out of plastic which makes it very hard to disinfect and, and reuse because you can't use heat as it just melt uh, as it's connected to a ventilator that goes directly into the lungs of a patient. Chemicals is generally a bad idea uh, because a lot of the stuff that's happening on the inside can't really use UV. Um, so they are single use. Um, otherwise, uh, well, unless <laughs> the situation get, gets even more desperate. Um, so they came up with this. Um, as, yeah, like I said, the story goes, they just... Uh, they showed up uh, with a 3D printer at the hospital, and in six hours they reverse engineered and printed the first prototype. Um, later on, 
another company stepped in and produced these. Now these are also 3D printed, but they are made out uh, with a different process. The first is, um, obviously looks like it's just made on a normal FDM uh, 3D printer um, with PLA or ABS or PGD, something like that. But these looks a lot nicer. Now these are made of some sort of polymer uh, with a polymer powder on a laser printer. Uh, honestly, I don't know a whole lot about how exactly that functions because that's not tech that's uh, really accessible to consumers at this point. So uh, yeah, high tech stuff. But as you can see, they look a lot nicer uh, in the finish. And um, yeah, they'll probably keep uh, producing these uh, for the time being. Now, before you get too excited, no, you're not. You can't just start printing these valves at home and delivering them to your local hospital. First of all, there is a patent on these valves. Um, so they won't share the STL uh, because that will yeah, when things blow over the coronavirus, that will probably be a massive lawsuit. Now, of course, if things get desperate enough, uh, not just at this specific hospital or hospitals in, in Italy, but around the world, that it might make it out there in the wild. And we could see other hospitals start free printing them, but it'll probably not accept uh, random valves from, from, from you guys as well this is a medical device that's that's connected to something that goes directly into the patient so there is obviously concerns regarding uh, if this is safe for the patient so if you just show up with random wells you can't just uh, <laughs> well they know they don't know what material is made of how that uh, the, the the filament was stored and, and and so on that's yeah so that's probably not gonna happen um, but um, yeah I think it's pretty cool also as a, a side note of this after this happened I I noticed over on reddit on uh, functional r slash functional prints they have bad medical devices for the time being um, because they don't want random people to start making me medical devices at home and and just distributing those uh, because times are getting tough because again it's the same issue as I just said with the hospitals that you, well you don't know if these are actually safe to use if they're sterile and uh, and so on um, yeah so that's kind of an ish uh, an interesting discussion going on over there at the moment and uh, for now they say they, they they'll ban medical devices until this whole corona thing uh, has blown over and then they'll take a stance on on what is allowed in the future um but i just thought these uh, these wilds here were really cool um See, they have updated. So this other company that stepped in was uh, Lonati SPA, um, and a customer a custom polyamide-based material from a. I think it mentions here. Uh, yeah. So the first wells were were a filament extrusion system. So your regular printer that you would have at home. Um, or something very similar to it at least but um, um, so this is used for an oxygen mask actually and uh, yeah anyways um, I thought it was cool stuff and thanks to uh, Christian Fracassi uh, from Isinova uh, for stepping in here um, really great job from him and everything, everybody, even this other company and, and so on, that's helping out in this dire situation. Um, 
I think it's really great to see that this is possible. And I mean, if this had been even 10 years ago, it might not have been possible uh, for, for this to, to happen because 3D printers were not very common. So, I mean, there might not have been a 3D printer in a 100 mile radius of, of, <laughs> of that area uh, just 10 years ago. But today they are in many homes um, and one more companies are utilizing 3D printing for, for a lot of stuff and uh, that also means it's possible to do something like this in, in, in times of emergency which I think it's great, great to see um, of course the situation that led to it is not great but that this is possible in this situation is, is, is great so that's all for now um, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you soon with more corona updates or maybe something a bit more enjoyable uh, in line with my regular content on this channel bye for now